Hello, let's play as we are playing Return of the Phantom, and we were just about to tell Monsieur Bree that we think Eric has returned. Yes, I think so. Well, I shall await further information before I commit to such a leap of faith. But the evidence is compelling. Not really, it could be just a copycat. Really. It seems to me we're dealing with the supernatural. Really? Well, if one believes in that sort of thing, do you? Um... Oh, uh, Raoul, you're just wacky enough to believe it. Yes, it's the only explanation. It's the only explanation, except for the fact it could still be a copycat. Then you are much more fanciful than I, Raoul. But all of this does give me the creeps. Well, Raoul, it sounds as if you've done an excellent job <laughs> with investigating this case. It seems that all evidence points to the existence of something or someone trying to make us believe that he is the real Phantom of the Opera. I say we should... Investigate this properly? <gasps> oh gosh. What was that? Who was that? Oh, Julie Geary. Oh, help! Quick! It's Christine! Quick, help! Quickly! Go to Christine's dressing room! Find out what happened! There is no way we would have heard her from all that way. Yes, it takes five minutes to get from his office to her room. But there is no way that we would have heard Julie Geary all that way. What's wrong? Oh. She's dead! I saw him, monsieur! The Phantom! He was wearing his mask this time! I was backstage when he came running out of the stage right stairwell! He ran up the circular staircase towards the fly loft! Hurry! He's probably still there! Did he hit you, Charles? You're, like, terribly bruised. Christine Florent is lying dead on the floor, strangled! You feel a sickening jab in your chest as you realize her nightmares were all too real. Where are her clothes? Hey there, Ju Julie. Julie appears quite distressed. Talk to Julie. Please, hurry! I shall stay here and wait for the police! And tell them that I killed her. You quickly realize that Christine is quite dead and, and could not possibly respond. Aww. Bye. Maybe I should take the fire axe. <sighs> I think better of it. You cannot see yourself hacking on a human being even if he's a murderer. But then why is it there? Why? Wow, this is a thrilling chase scene. You'd think with all that, with this exciting music, that I would be running to get around. Instead, here we are. Stare stimulator. Stimulator. Stare stimulator, which is what I meant to say. Hmm. Oh, music's getting more hectic. And we're still not getting any faster. Come on, Raoul. Pull your finger out. Ooh, what do I do now? Could you possibly go through the door? And not go up the stairs? Because she said he was up, not down, didn't she? Yes. Yes, she did. Watch for a falling sandbag. Because you really have time for that. You are the phantom now. You appear on the stairs, which you apparently don't. Oh, they're not talks anymore. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? <coughs> Raoul, you sure can yell. Uh, I guess that's in Raoul. You awaken as if in a deep, dark sleep. You would swear that it was a kiss. It was a kiss that woke you. You are gazing into the eye, beautiful, the eyes of a beautiful girl. She resembles Christine Florent, but it's not her. A strange man just stands beside her. Your head hurts. You feel busy and disorientated. Raoul! Raoul! Wake up! 
Are you all right? Monsieur de Chenet! Oh dear, oh dear. Wait. Wait, he's opening his eyes. He's awake. Dieu merci. Thank God. Uh oh. Did he just call me Monsieur de Chenet? Raoul de Chenet, which is the guy from the park. Oh, Raoul? Are you all right? Can you hear me? Uh, do I want to hear you? Who are you? Where am I? Why are you on the stage of the opera? You had a bad fall. What were you doing in the flat at all, bro? You were lucky you bounced off of a flat. My love, you could have been killed. <laughs> Your love? Yeah. But the phantom, he pushed me. Yes, he did push you. The phantom? You mean the opera ghost? You saw him? My dear Vicomte, are you sure? Oh dear. I do not like what the words are coming to He's had a bad fall, Mr. Richard. He needs to rest. Did you call me Vicomte? What do you mean? I do not know this word. No? Don't tell us that you have amnesia. You are Raoul, the Vicomte de Chenet. Have you forgotten? Oh shit. We're in the Dear past. Raoul, that should help, shouldn't it? Uh, the Phantom, he, he just killed Mademoiselle Florent. He killed who? Mademoiselle Florent? Who is that? The poor man is delirious. Shall we take him to the hospital? Who are you? I'm Christine. Remember Christine Day? Die? Perhaps you should see a doctor, Raoul. Christine Day. Christine Day? But you look like Christine Floral. That's right, folks. We've gone from present day. Well, who is Christine Floral? I think you must see the doctor. Uh, tell us the date, Christine. Wait. Can you tell me the date? Ah, uh, it took him so long to work it out. Why, it's June 24. What's the year? What is the year? The year? Why, it is 1881. Oh my god, we're in the past! That's right. All year long. We've, we have, uh, we have gone from 1991 to 1881. Oh my god. Oh Who geez. is he? You know Monsieur Richard. He's the manager of the opera. He's one of your closest friends. What happened to Monsieur Brie? Don't worry about it, old man. Rest your head. It will all come back to you in a while. But I must know about that unusual tuxedo you are wearing. Where did it come from? I have never seen that style before. Very dashing. Oh, uh, I think we'll go with Got It In London. The tuxedo? I, uh... I got it in London. That's it. He sounds so very funny about it. I, uh, got it in London. That figures. Those Englishmen are always trying to push the boundaries of fashion. Please go now. I'll be all right. Please go now. I'll be all right. Of course. I must run out for a bit, Raoul. I shall be in my dressing room in a while. Please, come visit me. I need to speak with you. My door will be open when I'm back. Rest and don't overtax yourself. Adieu. See you soon. You take it easy, Raoul. I shall be in my office. Come see me in a bit. I have received yet another note from our friend, the Opera Ghost. Adieu for now. Christine's beating the rhythm out of that drum. Ah, uh, drums are plenty. Take the time, Raoul. What has happened to me? I've gone back in time somehow. Somehow? And they say I'm Raoul de Chagny. This is bizarre. I must be dreaming. I'll pinch myself. <laughs> Ouch! Well, I'm awake and I'm still here. I guess all I can do is work this thing out. Maybe catching the phantom is the key. All right. I'll go along with this, whatever it is. Look out, Eric, Monsieur Phantom of the Opera. I got your number. And it's six six six. 
Alright, well, we are now at the end of this video, so I'm going to say goodbye. But, um, let's come back for more thrilling, terrible version of Phantom of the Opera Return, blah blah blahs. Yes, I made no sense, and I'm not apologizing for it. Because this makes no sense! He went off a catwalk and fell into time! Yes, because it makes perfect sense to someone. Anyway, bye!